Next, I'd like to address uh, a comparison between uh, how uh, laser peening has advantages over shot peening. Uh, to start with, uh, it provides deeper compressive residual stresses. Uh, typically, uh, with laser peening, you can get to depths of five millimeters or greater, uh, compared to maybe a quarter of a millimeter for shot peening. It introduces minimal cold work, and because of that, uh, laser shot peen parts retain their compressive residual benefits at higher temperatures, uh, up to 750 degrees or greater Fahrenheit. Whereas with the uh, higher cold work that's in shot peening, the residual stresses will have be relaxed out. It's a highly controlled process, so it makes masking unnecessary for protecting uh, sensitive areas. It produces greater curvatures with laser peen forming than does shot peen forming. So it's applicable to forming complex structures. For example, it's being applied on the Boeing 747 wing structure to form the wing into an aerodynamic shape to reduce uh, fuel consumption. It was not able to be achieved with shot peening. Uh, it's applicable to forming complex structures and uh, produces significantly less surface disturbance compared to the, uh, to the shot painting. So when you look at the texture of the surface, uh, you would get a little dimpling of maybe around uh, 10 microns uh, in variation in depth, uh, whereas with uh, shot painting, uh, this surface is much more uh, disturbed. And again, with laser peening, you don't have to deal with the shot. You don't have this debris that uh, you have to uh, handle uh, and dispose of.